Welcome back to the f funny zone. <laughs> what the f Welcome to the funny zone. Once again, no one's asked. Actually, I think someone asked this time. But once again, no one's asked. But you shall receive. It is time for the greatest of all um, meat pie tier list. I've got five pies. There's not a lot of pies, but like, what do you guys expect? I'm gonna throw out all the pies. Gonna take him to St. Vincent de Paul's and say, hey, give these to the less fortunate. I did test them, but they're still good. I have pies ranging from the highest degree, aka 420 pies, blaze it, um, to your typical bakery pie. Anyway, these pies came out of the oven about 10 minutes ago, so I'm gonna jump into the first pie. I'm gonna rate it out of five for pastry, out of five for filling, or like, I don't know, meat and gravy or whatever it's gonna be, and then out of five for like an overall, so like pastry filling together, tomato sauce. I don't know, fuck do I even make these videos? <laughs> Maybe this is just like me eating pies. I don't know, because I'm going to have the same reaction, because they're all going to taste like a pie, aren't they? Look at that, boom, bit of sauce on the lid. That's delicious, that pastry. Maybe it's because I'm hungry, I don't know. But I'm going to give it, I'll give it, hmm. Pastry was very good. Check out the filling. That doesn't even taste like meat. Sergeant's pie. Is it just it's just not cutting the mustard mate. I'm gonna give it an overall bite then I'll rate it on the tier list. I mean the pastry is the saving grace of this pie. That filling left so much to be desired. I don't know. I'm not about it. I'm giving this like a C. Like it's nice enough but if the pastry was all that I was eating it'd be an A. Just this meat lets it down. Sorry guys. Let's go pie number two. We'll go straight over to Garlo's. Garlo's pies like I don't know these have been like staring at me for months. I always see him in Woolies. And I'm like, should I just get one? And then today, we'll find out if I should have gotten one. That's nice. That pastry is pretty good, actually. Maybe I just like pastry. You know what I'm saying? Like, filling. Yeah. <coughs> that filling tastes like porridge if it just had, like, beef stock in it. That's disgusting. It was, like, weird, like, mushy. No, like, real good flavor behind it. Not about it. The last bite. I don't know what it is. But most of these pies so far, I've had absolute rat filling. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. It was better, but I'm gonna have to push Sarge's pie down to a D. I'm giving this a C, because this is not as good as a B, if you know what I'm saying. Pie numero trace, Mrs. Max. All right, Mrs. Max, everyone said that this is gonna be the best pie. And this one said microwavable. Like, I don't know if I believe that. I had a mate that microwaved his pies in high school. And we were at his house one time, and he's like, do you guys want a pie? And I was like, fuck yes. And he comes out and it's just this soggy mess of meat pie. Needless to say, fucking stabbed his dog. Mrs. Mac. God damn. Mrs. Mac. More like Mrs. Crack. Because that's probably what she was on when she made this pastry. Get better. I don't want to eat this. This is like brown glue. Yuck. Where's the salt? Guys, where's the flavor? All these frozen pie companies, I understand that things lose flavor when you freeze them. But just, I don't know, figure it out. You guys are the ones selling it, not me. That doesn't cut the mustard. I don't understand what that saying means. Doesn't cut the mustard. Nothing cuts mustard. I mean, everything cuts mustard. Ah! If everything cuts mustard, like, mustard is like a liquid. That makes so much sense. Maybe, like, maybe that means that it's just so shit that it can't even cut mustard. All right, 420 Traveler, I couldn't, okay. So, when I went to the shops, all of these were sold out. I don't know if you guys are just loving pies at the moment, or if they were on special or something, but they were all sold out, but all of the 420 pies, 420 pies are sick. Because I like remember having them when I was a kid. I remember them just being so good, until you get one of those like gristly bits. Not the best pastry we've had, but definitely not the worst. And the filling is probably the best <laughs> we've had so far. Traveler pie, bring them back memory. I just can't get past the fact that that it tastes like glue. You know what I mean? Like, I get halfway through chewing it, then it like hits the back of my throat and it's like, bah! I don't know how else to describe it but that. I'll put this in B. It's the best one I've had so far. That's what B stands for. D stands for D's nuts. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> And yeah, this is the best one I've had so far. It's delicious. And if this pie, if I don't give this pie an A, I feel like they should shut down. This is gum nut patisserie, meat pie. They do all their own pastry and everything like this. So this has to be the best. 
It cannot, it cannot be subpar. I worked there. I worked at Gumnut for like six months when I when I left high school. It was so fun. Those pastries are the best. It tastes like pastry. The rest tastes like cardboard. What can I say? What can I say? I can say anything. This is my channel. This is my fucking world. I'll say whatever I want. Without getting ahead of myself, I'm gonna jump into the. Oh, look at this. This actually has meat in it, like pieces of steak. Yum. This is definitely. Five out of five. I'm not even rating about it. Also, they do like really good sausage rolls. I remember when I was working there, I tried to see, cause like I had like a 30 minute break. I tried to see how many, like what was the most amount of food I could fit into my stomach and just like put through my mouth in 30 minutes. I ended up eating three of them. Yeah, we're not all built different. That's delicious. That goes in A. It also goes without saying, there's like, I mean that pie costs six bucks. So like, if it didn't go in A, I'd go back and ask for my money back. No, I wouldn't. I'm a coward. I wouldn't do that. Am I kidding myself? Can I have my money back? All right. To wrap this whole thing up, Mrs. Mac. Greasy than a deli worker's forehead. Microwavable equals gross. Like, we don't we don't need that. Two out of five. Sergeant's pies. Pastry was great. However, the filling tasted like brown porridge. Three out of five. Garlo? More like, I'll go get my fucking pie from somewhere else. <laughs> nice pastry, though. Three out of five as well. Gumnut slash bakery patisserie pie. Uh, the pie was great, but you guys made me work in the freezer, so 4 out of 5. Just kidding, I love you guys. Um, and 4 and 20 pie. Uh, very misleading, I didn't get high at all, so you guys will be hearing from my lawyers. 2 out of 5. In all seriousness though, all of these pies were pretty good. I mean, they're just freezer pies, like you can't really expect the world from them. But personally, out of all the pies, disregarding the bakery pie, the handmade one, I would probably go for the 4 and 20 pie, like I don't know. I don't care. You're not the one who's eaten 5 pies for breakfast, alright? I am full as- if you disagreed or agreed with me, let me know in the comments below. I do read them and I do reply to them. So, you know what I'm saying?